One really common question that patients have is regarding fillings versus crowns. How do we know I need a filling versus how do I know I need a crown? Um, and that's a really good question. I think the main thing that it comes down to is maintaining the structural integrity of the tooth. So for example, if you have a tooth with a really small existing filling or small cavity, and there's not much tooth structure that's been missing from it, then many times a filling is a great option to be able to maintain the, the integrity or the strength of that tooth. Um, however, when you have a, a very badly broken tooth or you have a tooth with a very large filling, maybe over 50 or 60% of the filling already present in a tooth, then the problem with that is if you go to add another filling on over that and it's much bigger at that point, then you risk fracturing that tooth over time, which means you could possibly end up need, needing to get it removed. So those are the, the main thing that it comes down to is structural integrity. If I put a filling in this tooth, do I think this tooth can last for another 20, 30 years without breaking? And if the answer is no, because too much of the tooth structure is gone, then it's very likely that crown is going to be a better option.